Do you really care about the PS4 Pro? Just, just be honest with yourself, because I think we all sort of watched Sony unveil it and they dove into 4K and we're just sort of sitting there going, we just got HD. Like we just, or we all just bought 50 inch TVs. We don't need a 4K set thing for a slightly higher resolution of Spider-Man's mask. I don't care, you don't care, we don't care. We're sort of heading towards this weird endpoint where the message just seems to be that power equals better. And that just isn't the case. Look at gaming's history. Look at Final Fantasy VII. Look at Mega Man. Look at Crash Bandicoot. Look at the original Crash Bandicoot. It's game mechanics that sell games. It isn't graphics. It never was. We didn't need fancy facial tech and, you know, amazing animations and, oh my god, look at this phenomenal character model with 10 million pixels in it to really care about things. At the end of the day, the script sells a game. The game mechanics sell a game. Replayability isn't in the graphics. That's for screenshots and wallpapers and PR and selling things. Once you actually get down to it and you play something, that's what's gonna hold up. The PS4 Pro just marks a point in time where we've got someone like Sony, the leader of the industry right now, just saying like, hey, we think what you guys need is more power. Just look at the amount of games that are being delayed right now, and that's for the basic PS4. South Park got delayed till 2017. The Last Guardian got pushed back a couple of months. You can bet you won't even see the Final Fantasy VII remake until the end of 2017 or 2018, and that's in episodic installments. Where's Beyond Good and Evil 2? <laughs> <laughs> At the end of the day, it just seems like way too much focus is being put on processing power, resolutions, frame rates, all that kind of thing, when all we really need is a solid foundation and then you can build all that stuff on top of it if it's necessary. Even Sony don't really know what they're doing with this thing. They sort of just came out and were just like, we've got this new tech and it's going to solve all your problems, it's going to solve all the broken games that we keep releasing. And then what we see is delays and all we see are things pushed back. There's nothing to really look at side by side and go, okay, that's worth the jump. This isn't like standard definition to HD, as much as Sony would like it to be. Not to hate on No Man's Sky too much, I honestly think that game has quite a lot to offer, but just look at the way that thing was sold. Look at the fancy graphics, the art style, everything else, and look at the complete lack of gameplay options that are in there. Gameplay makes a game, graphics don't. It really shouldn't have to be spelled out, but at this point, that's what they're selling you. Graphics over gameplay, and that's not the way that the industry was built. It just literally isn't. All graphics need to do is support a story. Think of something like The Last of Us, Uncharted 4, pretty much any Naughty Dog game. Yes, those games look fantastic, but they're not the meat of the game. The reason we care about The Last of Us is because of the characters, because of the script, because of the way those levels are laid out, and the dialogue and interaction between the characters. Uncharted 4 has real heart to it. All of which comes from three exemplary installments along the way, which yes, look good, but when we're talking about Uncharted, we don't bring up, oh god, it looked amazing. We talk about the moments, the heart, the character, the levels. If you de res The Last of Us or de res Uncharted, took it all the way back to the PS1, the SNES, whatever else, and went back over, those stories would still hold up. That heart would still be there, and that gameplay would still mostly work. Those games weren't sold on graphics. All in all, it just represents a weird shift in the industry where they're very brazenly putting up there that graphics trump gameplay. And that's just not the way that it is. We literally do not need 4K technology right now. We need good games. I'm Scott from and I had to get this off my chest. Thank you.